Welcome to Warhammer War School Review. In this video, we're taking a look at the dispossessed unit, Longbeards. War School Review. After getting a boatload of suggestions, I'm going to cover Dispossessed War Scroll. The Longbeards are a unique order battle line unit. Pretty common for Dwarden, they have an underwhelming 4 inch move. The musician somewhat mitigates this by allowing them to double their move instead of running normally. These one wound models sport a 4 up save, and with the shield that they will always have, can reroll their save rolls in the fight phase. This ability can only be used if they haven't run or charged in the preceding turn. Longbeards also have a bravery of 7, which is about average. Not only do they have an ability that we'll cover in a moment, that reduces the amount of Longbeards that flee, the unit's standard bearer halves the amount of models that flee, which is really awesome. They have two weapon options, and while the Ancestral Hammer and Axe have a use, I'd almost always recommend the Ancestral Great Axe. The weapon hits on 4s and wounds on 3s, which is the opposite of the Hammer and Axe, but the real difference is the Great Axe is Ren 1. One attack per model isn't going to be doing much damage, but the rend is a nice bonus. The main use of the Longbeards is their ability to... complain? Their special ability Old Grumblers allows the player to pick one of three abilities to bestow on dispossessed units within 8 inches. The first augment allows the player to roll a die for each model that flees in an affected unit. On a 5-up, they do not flee. This obviously makes the already resolute Dwarden even more stubborn and obviously couples well with dispossessed standard bearers. The second power allows the dispossessed unit under its influence to use command abilities, even if they aren't the general, which is okay. There's only one dispossessed unit with a command ability, the Warden King. While this ability doesn't stack, it could be used to make multiple enemy units plus one to wound against them. Warden Kings are fairly expensive though, so it may be more efficient to just bring more Dwarden. The final buff, which I find to generally be the best, allows the models affected by it to reroll wound rolls of 1 in the combat phase. This is especially powerful with hammers and longbeards equipped with great axes, who with this and the Warding King's command ability would be wounding on 2's rerolling 1's. Unfortunately it is fairly ineffective on units like Iron Drakes and Quarrelers since they avoid combat and dispossessed warriors already have ways to reroll wound rolls, but as stated, hammers and longbeards love this buff. Longbeards are 40 points more than regular warriors, and come in units of 10 to 30. Longbeards actually have quite a few uses. They are a pretty decent battle line, and often have the edge on regular warriors. They serve a similar function with better defense, and a bit more versatility, seeing as they are able to switch their reroll to wounds to an ability that mitigates battle shock tests. Their 4-up armor save is obviously ripe for sticking a unit of 10 in cover on an objective for a 3-up save. This would be very difficult to pry off, especially since Battleshock will have little effect on these models. Their old Grumbler ability makes them also a very potent support unit for a dispossessed army. In a 2k army, most dispossessed players will likely field at least one unit of Longbeards for the Battleshock reduction, and if they also have Hammers, a second unit of Longbeards would be recommended. Unsurprisingly, Longbeards synergize well into dispossessed army. The battle trait further mitigates battle shock tests by automatically passing them on a 1, 2, or 3. Between this, their standard bearer, and their old grumbler ability, the dispossessed player can feel pretty safe from losing models to retreat. The second part of the battle trait allows models in the army to reroll ones to hit against various types of units chosen before the game begins. This list includes heroes, monsters, hordes, units in cover, and a few others. The options are pretty good and should be able to be applied to at least one, if not a few of the enemy units the Dwarden are facing. This reroll ones to hit pairs well with their ability to reroll ones to wound, making up for quite a few bad rolls. The dispossessed command trait, Resolute, would allow the Longbeards to ignore battle shock tests on fours as well as one, two, and three. More interesting than this is the Ancestral Pickaxe. The artifact allows a hero equipped with it to redeploy with another unit 9 inches away from the enemy and 3 inches from each other. This is a great ability for going to grab an objective or just moving your slow and stout men across the battlefield. The dispossessed character, the Rune Lord, has an interesting ability that has two effects. The player can increase the Longbeard's Ren by 1, making those Great Axes Ren 2. Ren 2 battle line is frickin' amazing. Alternatively, the player can choose to allow them to ignore wounds and mortal wounds on a 6. This means that with the Grumbler ability that mitigates battle shock, there is not a single way to remove these dispossessed models without giving them a save. 
the Rune Lord is useful in either case and has a huge impact on Longbeards. Outside of a dispossessed army, the Archmage may do well with their spell, Elemental Shield. This spell gives these fairly defensive units even more durability, with a chance to ignore wounds and mortal wounds on a 6. Since Longbeards and Warriors are both battle aligned to an Order Grand Alliance, taking some larger units to work as screens with this spell and Old Grumbler would keep them around for quite a while. In an Order Grand Alliance is also the only way currently to have access to Mystic Shield, to give your old cranky Dwarden a 2-up rerollable save in combat when in cover. With that said, it's easy to say the Longbeards are quite versatile, being a common selection in dispossessed armies and even having some use in an Order Grand Alliance. A large unit may even work well as an ally to a Stormcast or Caradron Overlord's army, acting as a durable screen to more important units. Longbeards receive a 4 out of 5. They are a durable, versatile battle line unit that can augment nearby units and deal a moderate amount of damage if need be. What do you think of the Longbeards? What War Scrolls would you like to see reviewed next on the channel? Let me know your answers, thoughts, and questions in the comments below, and thanks for watching.